Today I'm going to show you how to make hearth bread. This recipe can be found in the 200th anniversary King Arthur Flour Cookbook, which is one of my ultimate favorite cookbooks. You'll need salt, yeast, sugar, flour, water, olive oil, and cornmeal. I like making bread with King Arthur flour. You can use a stand mixer or you can make this recipe completely by hand. I start by loosening my flour by shaking the bag and tossing it with the flour scoop that I believe was my great grandmother's. I scoop the flour into the measuring cup to make sure it is not too packed and I use the back side of a knife to scrape off any excess flour. I use two cups of hot tap water around 118 degrees. I add one tablespoon of sugar and stir, and then I add one tablespoon of active dry yeast and stir. Let this mixture sit for about five to six minutes to allow the yeast to activate and grow. Then add one cup of flour to the bowl and mix. Next, add one tablespoon of salt and mix again. Gradually add four cups of flour. I then change out my mixer attachment for my dough hook attachment. Add half a cup of flour and knead for about three to four minutes. Then let the dough rest while you grease a large bowl with olive oil. Knead the dough for at least another three to four minutes. Form the dough into a ball and put it in the greased bowl. Cover with a damp kitchen towel and put somewhere warm where there is no draft. Allow the dough to rise for one to two hours until it has doubled in size. Then punch the dough down and knead by hand. I really love kneading dough by hand. Place the dough back into the bowl to rise again for 30 minutes to an hour until it has doubled in size again. Next, punch the dough down and knead by hand. Cut the dough in half and shape. I roll the dough out by hand until it is quite long. Then I pull the outside edges up and around to the center and pinch together. I take the ends and bring them up to tuck them as well. Then I flip the dough over. Place parchment paper on a baking sheet or a bread pan. Sprinkle cornmeal on the parchment paper. Place the dough on the cornmeal and shape the second loaf. There are many different ways to shape dough. I recommend that you Google different techniques and experiment. Once both loaves have been shaped, cover with a damp towel again and place in a warm area to rise for about an hour. 15 minutes before the loaves have finished rising is a good time to preheat your oven to 475 degrees. Once the loaves have doubled in size, they are almost ready to bake. Make quick slashes with a sharp knife across the top of both of the loaves. Then spray generously with water. Place in the preheated oven. Open the oven and quickly spray with water every two minutes for the first 10 minutes of baking. After the bread has been in the oven for about 20 minutes, turn the oven off and allow the bread to rest in the oven for an additional 10 minutes. Tap the bottom of the bread with the backside of a knife. If it sounds hollow, it's done. If not, put it back in the oven for a bit. These loaves look and smell amazing. One of my favorite things is eating a piece of warm, fresh baked homemade bread. 
This bread has a nice golden brown, somewhat chewy and somewhat crunchy crust with a nice and soft inside. Eating homemade bread reminds me of when my mom used to make homemade bread when I was growing up. It also makes your entire house smell so delicious. I made this bread to go with soup for dinner and I froze the second loaf for another night. If you do freeze the bread, make sure you wrap it up tightly before freezing. The light in my kitchen is quite orange, so I took the bread outside to get some clips too. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel inspired to try making homemade bread if you never have. Making bread is a lot easier than what people think. If you end up making this recipe, let me know how it turns out in the comments below. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.